Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. Uh, we've got a puzzle for you today. Um, I've seen this one on Facebook and a couple of other places. I think um, one Facebook post, there were something like 6.8 million comments just on this one problem. Um, and, and, and based on some of the answers that I saw, um, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a quick video uh, on this puzzle um, and try to clarify uh, the proper way to solve it um, using the order of operations convention. And uh, I want to, want to just kind of go through this in, in some logical steps to uh, help make it easier to figure out. So the problem that I'm, I'm referring to is uh, 50 plus 50 minus 25 times zero plus two plus two. All right, so uh, real briefly, cover. I want to cover the order of operations here. It's um, number one, you would solve parentheses or brackets. Um, some places refer to the uh, parentheses as brackets, depending on where you're from. Um, number two is exponents. Uh, that would be something like, say, five to the third power, where that means five times five times five. Uh, exponents are sometimes called indices or orders, uh, depending on where you're from. Uh, different English-speaking countries will call exponents indices, uh, orders, powers of. Um, then number three is multiplication and division left to right, uh, followed by addition and subtraction left to right. One thing to keep in mind about order of operations is if there are no parentheses or exponents, you start with multiplication and division, uh, solving left to right. And then uh, lastly, solve your addition and subtraction uh, left to right. So uh, let's start out with this using oh, um, order of operations. You've got the problem 50 plus 50 minus 25 times 0 plus 2 plus 2. Um, looking at the convention, um, we don't have any parentheses, um, don't have any exponents, uh, we don't have any division, we do have multiplication. So our first step would be to take 25 times 0 is 0. And keep in mind, I am keeping track, there is a minus sign out in front of the 25 times 0. It's important to remember that and not forget that. That minus sign is associated with the 25 times 0. But just for simplicity, I'm taking 25 times 0, that equals 0. Uh, then the next thing you want to do is look at your addition and subtraction. So here, the problem gets a lot simpler. It's 50 plus 50 minus 0. So keep in mind, I, I did keep track of the negative sign. Um, I do see some people get worried about that, but the minus sign is, in, is associated with that multiplication. So it's minus 0 plus 2 plus 2 equals 104. Uh, so the correct answer to the problem is 104. Uh, now some people may say, well, gee, if I was meant to do the multiplication first, I should put it at the beginning. Well, you can do that. I mean, this, this equation here could be a representation of some word problem that we don't know about. You know, it could be like, you know, how many sales you had on a certain day and you know, maybe it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and on Wednesday, you sold zero boxes of 25 pencils or something. So you would have had, you sold zero, you know, on uh, Wednesday. So we don't know what that represents, but uh, back, back to the problem, you can write the multiplication first. It makes it the same problem. It doesn't change anything. So I could have minus 25 times zero plus 50 plus 50 plus 2 plus 2. And uh, that works out to 0 plus 50 plus 50 plus 2 plus 2. And again, that equals 104. And, uh, and last here, I want to show another method. Um, and the reason here is just to drive home the fact that multiplication is just repeated addition. So I can replace all of the multiplication with addition. So if I say I'm going to give you 25 zeros, you know, what does that mean? Zero, 20, 0 times 25 or 25 times 0 is still 0. 
So I can I can replace 25 times zero with subtracting 25 zeros. <laughs> it, it's all the same thing. So what I'm showing here on this bottom line is 50 plus 50, and then I'm subtracting 25 zeros. Uh, there's no difference between that and saying negative 25 times zero. Uh, it's the same thing, you know. Adding zeros, subtracting zeros, it's all zero. So 50 plus 50 minus those 25 zeros plus 2 plus 2 is still 104. So the whole reason for that last um, that last thing, I know it looks like, well, why would you do that? That looks silly. But all I'm trying to do is to mentally drive home to, to some people that multiplication is just repeated addition. Okay, so division, we don't have any in this problem, but division is multiplication by a reciprocal. So when you look at order of operations, multiplication and division um, are, they have equal precedence. You just solve them left to right as you see them. One is not more important than the other. Uh, then when you get, you have exponents, exponents are nothing more than repeated multiplication. So exponents have a higher priority than multiplication or division. And then uh, parentheses, those are just grouping symbols that tell us to resolve operations that are inside of the parentheses uh, before solving um, anything outside of the parentheses. So the, the, the idea here I want to drive home is that the order of operations convention is not arbitrary uh, and it's based in some real mathematics and it makes sense. So uh, yeah, the Math Puzzle Crash Course is on YouTube. We have our channel there. Uh, also have a Facebook page. So uh, please like, share, subscribe. Um, any likes, shares, uh, subscriptions uh, helps the channel out, um, helps me get the word out on uh, uh, some of these easy math concepts. But um, again, I, I thank you for your time if you made it through the whole video. And uh, please check out some of the other ones on the channel. And have a great day.